Welcome back to Kaleidoscope. This next story is a suggestion from a viewer. As a young boy, Roland Bonney would spend time in the woods. He'd find himself at the start of a spring where clay deposits would gather, so he'd spend time making creations and then drying them in the sun. As a teenager, he did clay making in his community. Then life and family happened. But just over 10 years ago, Bonney took his clay making from a hobby to full-time work as a family business. Pottery is fantastic. It's easy entry. Tools can be a bit expensive, but it's a great way to jump in. Like I said, you don't have a tool between you and your medium. So you're able to kind of work with your hands. There's lots of different ways to work with clay. You don't necessarily need to be on a wheel. You can hand build, you can coil build. Can't say why I do this. I'm just drawn to do it. I really love doing classes. I love working with people, especially kids. This is what I was meant to do. I have a pretty broad background as far as all the things I've done in my life, but I, this is what I was really meant to do. Well, I was kind of lucky following high school, you know, my uncle Rick had already, you know, we had the studio going through grants. The pottery studio was already being set up in the process and, you know, do something creative, something productive and uh, work with my family. He did get some experience here, but then when he, you know, was away from it for a while and had the opportunity to try it again. It, it kind of urged him on and, and created that passion that it takes. It wasn't until I was going to a community school down in Philadelphia, uh, I found a little art studio called the Cheltenham Art Studio, uh, Cheltenham Community Art Center. And I took a pottery class there with a guy named Peter Quinn. And he's a professor down there at one of the colleges, ceramics professor. And he noticed some talent and told me if I wanted to pursue it that I probably could do it for a living. And that's when I decided to transfer to Edinburgh University and go to, for a, a degree in fine arts. And then as time went on, this became more established here. So then we decided to go ahead together and create Mudslide Pottery. It's a dream to be able to work with a family member, especially a parent. And in a creative business like this, it's, it's sort of everything. We, it isn't just a business partner. It's, it's everything else that comes with the family member. It's the support system. It's the creative support, you know, being able to bounce ideas off each other, being able to be honest with each other. Whether I'm making something small that doesn't have, hold great value, I still approach it the same way. There's no letdown or build up to any specific piece that I make. I love making mugs because it is such a functional and becomes a personal item. So I really enjoy making mugs. You know, you take it, you take it home and you use it every day and it becomes a personal item. And the, the, the real enjoyment is that I don't make pottery for me, I make it for everybody else. I'm in love with the process, the, the physically doing, the multiple steps that it takes to create a finished piece. And uh, I love the process of making pottery. The, the science side of it, which there's a lot of science involved in, in creating good pottery consistently. You know, whether it's chainsaw carving, painting, you always have a tool between you and what you're working with. In, in ceramics, your hands are your tools, you're in direct contact with your medium. And that's always been very interesting to me. Making functional work is really what speaks to me. There's, you know, I've heard it said that art, art is only art if it exists for its own sake. It can't be functional. And that may be true, but I really like making functional work. There's something very connective with your audience when you're making something they eat or drink from, you know, it's life-giving. There's something very enjoyable about that. This is a great thing that we'd be able to grow this business together and use our strengths. We are separate people. Uh, Gene's strengths are way different than mine. You know, I'm really old school. I don't use, need a lot of technology in my life to do what I do, where he, he had that ability to help on the, tech, the technology side of the, the pottery business. So the pearl in all of this is that we have done it together. And you learn more about each other, especially, you know, in a creative out, you know, creative based business or any business in general, you're going to learn more about each other and build a stronger relationship through business than you might otherwise. It's such an awesome way to get into the arts, especially for young kids. Pottery is such an awesome thing for young children because it's tactile, it's engineering, it's science, it's all of these things put together that create a a creative and educational experience. 
So we're offering classes ongoing. You know, you can reach out to us. We'd be happy to schedule a class for anybody who's interested. We'd like to get back to doing shows at some point. That, that'll kind of depend on how much I jump back in after, you know, COVID and shows are finally starting to pick up again. And, and that was kind of what we had our business built around. So, you know, we're still, still sussing out exactly how we're gonna proceed in the future.